Hey guys, Frank here from the Art of 3D Experience and today I've got another quick little tip and this time is to do with uh, modeling. So um, I have this uh, rounded cube object here which is going to be part of a, an upholstery um, unit for a chair. But what I'd like to do is I'd like to add a, uh, a detail on this object which is some piping so I'd like to use one of those lines to add some piping detail onto my seating um, upholstery so how do I do that without having to manually draw a say a rectangle and converting this rectangle into a rounded rectangle and trying to fit it to the object and making it work this way as you can see this is taking quite a lot of time and it's not as precise as I'd like it to be so the work around this is to actually use one of these lines on the object so what I can do is if I select the object I can go to my uh, edges selection and if I go to if I go to my shortcut UP which is short for so not UP so if I go to my shortcut UL after selecting my edge selection, so if I go to UL as a shortcut, I can select a loop, which is selecting the loop all around my object. So I'm gonna go for this line right here. So if I select this line, I can then go to my um, object palette up here and I'm going to right click on it, go to customize palette and I'm going to search for edge to spline and there you go that's what I'm looking for edge to spline command so once I have my edge selected I can go to edge to spline and what it will do is it would add the line component of my selection right under my cube right here so if I can I can just take that out basically take it out of the cube and then I've got my selection here which is my line as you can see and it's very precise so now what I can do is I can draw my piping which is going to be a simple uh, circle so I'm going to go to my circle tool and I'm going to make it let's say two millimeters thick as a radius that would be four so let's go down to one so that'd be two millimeter radius so a two millimeter diameter um, so that's fine and I'm going to go to my cube I'm going to go to this tool right here I want to click and hold and I'm going to select the sweep option so what sweep is going to do is going to take my spline that I have around my cushion and it's going to take the circle and it's going to make the circle run around following this spline so I'm going to drag both of these circle and spline into my sweep object and there you go so right there it just snaps onto the line and it creates my detail which is my piping so I'm going to apply the same material to my piping and there you go here's my piping detail very quickly applied to so I don't have to do this manually so when you have to um, add these sort of details usually it applies to furniture sometimes you can use that also to create skirting around rooms and ceilings and little details like that so uh, there you go I hope that's useful to you and, uh, and I hope you make use of it and uh, I'll see you in the next video